Once again, my name is Adewale Yusuf. So this morning, I'll be talking to us about opportunities and how you can create it. But before I start, I will actually start with a quote that says, don't wait for opportunity, create it. Most of the times, we always tend to wait for opportunities instead of creating them. So I'll be talking about steps for creating your own opportunities. So how do you create your own opportunities? There are some various steps that you need to actually pass through because before you can create your own opportunity and you can make them work. So I'm going to run you through those steps one by one. And the first step is understand who you are. So you have to understand who you are in order to be able to create a good opportunity. Before you start the journey of even finding or creating an opportunity, you must first need to know yourself, in fact, on the deep level, and understand what you can do and understand your ability. I will also talk about believing what you offer. So you have to always believe in what you offer. Once you have a strong understanding of who you are and what you want to so you know you can do financial modeling, you know you can do uh, business intelligence analysis, you have to believe in those things that you offer. You should also need to step out of your comfort zone. Opportunity really happen in your comfort zone. If an opportunity just uh, maybe you're in the comfort zone, you are not really, uh, you don't really want to move away from that comfort zone because you don't want to try new things. So you need to be able to move away from your comfort zone and actually move to where you can actually engage that opportunity. You also need to remain open. You may set out with a goal uh, in the mind of exactly what you want to do. And we all know that it's not every time that what you want to do actually comes to uh, reality. So sometimes you need to remain open so that when any opportunity comes, you can easily grab it. We should also create a good karma. As much as you are creating opportunity, it's also based on doing. You have to be doing you have to create something that you know that you are going to get a positive return or a good return. Just like what we did in Brown Consulting, where we are trying to give free calls out to our, our, our clients in order for us to get good return. You should also be confident. You have to be confident about what you are doing. When opportunities arise, you have to take advantage of them with confidence that you can do them. Even if you know that this thing is a, bit, is a little bit hard for you, you have to make sure that you take that opportunity with confidence that I can do it. Then you should also find your niche. You can make your own opportunity by identifying and pursuing your need, either by understanding or imagining a trend, or let's say uh, what is trending right now is um, uh, Power BI, or let's say Azure for Microsoft, you are trying to put Azure more. So you can actually find your niche that, okay, I like to search you, but now I want all of us to type in chat. What are you good at? What do you think you are good at? I mean, I'll look at the chat now, but I'm sure I'll come back to the chat later to see what each of us are good at. Because I know that we all have our unique skill, something you are good at that you may even know that thing that than some of us. So can you type it in chat? What do you think you are good at? Okay, so after you know what you are good at, the next thing is you should become a guru. You already know that I'm good at fashion designing. So you have to actually become a guru in that aspect. You are very good in Power BI. You have to become a guru. Let's people read about you. The way this day is really about expert secret, let's people read about you. You have to become a guru. Give in order to receive. You also need to give in order to receive. One of the best ways to advance is to give because giving is actually powerful. And then that is what most business do to thrive. And that is what we do too as Zebra. We give a lot to our clients in order to receive. You should always be happy as well. When you are trying to create an opportunity for yourself, you should know that you have to put up that smile. You need to be very, very happy all the time. Don't put up a sad face. You should always be happy. You should enjoy your life while you can enjoy it. Don't have something in mind and you are not really enjoying yourself. You should always be happy. Also, I want you to also dream bigger and do bigger. Don't limit yourself to what you can do. You have to dream bigger that I can actually get there. I can actually build that uh, mansion I want to build. I can buy that beautiful car I want to buy. 
You can do different things. You have to dream bigger. This is where I want to be. You also need to develop and work your plan. How are you going to pursue this opportunity, right? You should not, you should not just sit down and just say, the opportunity work for you without developing and structuring a well plan. I want to travel to Canada. I want to travel to Australia. There should be a well plan for you. I want to do this in future. There should be a well plan. You also need to be ready. You have to be ready for any unforeseen opportunity because opportunity can come anytime. There are some things that I know most of us, maybe an opportunity come because you don't have the money to take that opportunity, you won't take it. Before you don't have the skills to take that opportunity, you won't take it. You should be ready all the time, have that money stored somewhere, have that skills. Then you should also know that limitation is just an imagination. Don't allow your limitation to hinder your progress. You should always avoid anything that will step you back. Because that limitation you are looking at is just your imagination. You can actually get there. And for, for some people, their limitation can be, okay, I want to do financial modeling. I don't have accounting background. Analyze any opportunity that actually comes to you. Okay, so I have different opportunity. Uh, I want to go to Canada. I, I got a job in online gas. I have this, have that, have that. You should analyze all those opportunities and see that whichever one works for you, we are hard analysts, thank God. So you should be able to analyze which one will work for me out of this opportunity. And you should make a sound decision about your analysis. Okay, I've analyzed all the, I've analyzed all the opportunities that I have. I need to be able to make a sound decision that will work for me perfectly so that you cannot, you will not be able to pick a wrong, uh, let me say, wrong opportunity. You should make a sound decision and stand with your decision. And I'm very sure that at the end of the day, you are going to get there. So thank you very much. I hope you guys enjoyed the presentation and I'll be available to take any question. Thank you.